The rope bat was developed three years ago, almost to the day, uh, for a kid, a 16-year-old kid I was coaching with action. And Jake uh, was very disconnected. He was very athletic. He could run. He could hit. He could pitch. He was a great outfielder. But he couldn't hit at all. He has slack in his swing. Okay, he's, it, it, it just means there's a looseness, a disconnectedness in his swing that we need to figure out how we can fix. So I thought if he's got slack, what if I could put a bat head on a rope? He would have to do what I want him to do. So the next day I went to Walmart and I went to Lowe's and I made the first, what I didn't even know what it was, but I called it a rope bat, because guess what? So it looks like a rope bat. So we went out that night and Jake, uh, we put 10 balls on the tee and he swung and missed the first three. He nicked the next three, and the next three he drilled. And he did it with no instruction. I didn't have to tell him what to do, he felt it. There's a thing called the Bernstein Principle. Uh, there's a Russian guy that was uh, uh, big into uh, kinesiology in the early 1900s and came up with the Bernstein theory that the body will organize itself to do what the goal is. And if the goal is to hit the ball uh, and, and be smooth, then your body will figure it out this way. Now, there's a kid that got here early. Man, right here. Raise your hand. Hey, you just stay right there. He got here early, and he hit on the rope bat. And within, I don't know, two, three minutes, he's just crushing the ball. And I'm not telling him anything other than put the, the bat right here between your shoulder blades. Because if they hang it off here, now they can't get they can't get uh, centrifugal force. What we want is just simply this right here. It looks easy, but what they want to do is cast. It's one of the number one problems, and these guys will tell you that coach hitting for a living, this is a cast. They all want to do that because they're not worried about a good swing. They're worried about what? Hitting the ball. And they can't be a good hitter if they just want to hit the ball. Now, what do you notice about her swing? It's incredibly rhythmic. It's like a dance. She goes back, she goes forward. She swings here. Her hands are inside. She generates the power of that swing and that pop you hear is lag. And lag, as y'all know, is incredibly difficult to explain, much less to teach. This is called lag. Okay, now notice she hasn't done this. This is a cast. What she's doing is keeping this in here as long as possible, and then her body causes this to come out like a whip. Exactly like the old whips were done like that, it's whip action. Or somebody with a wet towel, pop, pops like that, it's the same exact thing. She initiates the swing. What starts it is her lower body. Her hips start first. And then everything else is connected in one smooth motion. 